Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Just a quick tour, spring in April, of my front cottage garden. You can see the hedge, it's looking well from last year. I won't be uh, pruning this and clipping it back until it's grown like probably two or three inches, probably four inches. It's all needs weeding, but I've got some self-seeded hollyhocks. You can see there, some rust on those. And these, I'm leaving these for the uh, bird, for the bees. Loads of early pollen, dandelions. So yeah, let's have a look down here, shall we? This side of my board, it doesn't get as much sun as the rest, but they grow quite well. These hollyhocks, you need to spray these. They suffer with rust, but if you keep on top of it and spray it pretty regular, you get some good flowers off them. These are my aquilegias. These want spraying for powdery mildew as well. And then this is the other side of the board. This is what I've top dressed. Nice primula there, self seeded. Some more self seeded hollyhocks. These are my lilies. As you can see there, they've already been attacked. They need spraying for lily beetle. There we go down. This is uh, some I planted last year, dug up and divided. I have my uh, bleeding heart, the white one, Dicentra, the Latin. That one here. Some of my soul seeded primulas. This yellow one is so nice, like, beautiful golden colour. Got my pink, my carnations. What I do what I tend to do with these is every year because they grow quite leggy cover them with compost and then they will root and then I'll have several separate plants there. I have my uh, daylily here, that's a lovely golden one. And these are my lupins. These are what I grew from seed last year. This one here, planted out weeks ago, and that one. And this has been in there a few years, this one. This has some lovely flowers on it. This year will be the best year yet. But you have to keep a lookout for caterpillars on these, because they do muller them. There's my beautiful, old-fashioned daffodils there. My Japanese anemones here. These are uh, some delphiniums I've got from seed. Further along, this one here as well. Here's some beautiful self-seeded forget-me-nots. These are tiny flowers, but they're so gorgeous. Look at them there. Oh, my... Uh, Peonies as well there, which should be nice this year. That, that one there, here I have my uh, peony that I got from a neighbour several years ago. We're going to dig it up and throw it away, so they give it to me, but this one, always an early flower. always get this one stem on it every year. Yellow like that, that one, and that one. But now I take them off under there, and it's fine. It's my other peony. This would be a nice one this year. I'm going to cut this uh, holly up back. Might even take that one out. This is one of my uh, climbers, clematis, that I planted. As we go down here, some more lilies. And this is a perennial poppy. Really nice, nearly white, gorgeous colour. Here we get down to my uh, pot's gloves. Peonies, uh, Delphinums at the back there. Some nice dice and bleeding heart. This one, the cats have jumped on it though, so some of it is quite badly damaged. Nice tulips there. These are uh, what I've gone from seed, these Delphiniums planted in there nicely. A lot further around. Yep, absolutely. Can't, you cannot beat Aquilegias, Easter Bonnet. Absolutely gorgeous. Have a look down here. These are delphiniums I've got from seed. These only take it to the allotment and plant it out, which I will do shortly. These are primulas. They need watering, but they're really nice. So I like the colours. As you can see there, some lovely self seeded primulas. I walk round. This dicenter bleeding heart is probably the best one I've got in my garden. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you see why I call it bleeding heart, can't you? Look at those. And then nearly finished. All the way around. That's called clotted cream, the climber on here. And it smells absolutely gorgeous. And these are my peony pots that are doing really well this year. Need a water. 
And that's it. A quick tour of my uh, front garden. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask folks. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Remember, happy sewing, happy growing. Thank you for watching and please keep safe. Bye.